Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to COBOL, where we will learn how we can utilize redefine clause in order to convert a single field into multiple subfields. Okay, we all know that uh, this redefine clause is mainly used to uh, share the memory, like it allows us to share the memory between two variables to represent the same chunk of data in two different ways right so today also we are going to use it for the same purpose we, we will you utilize we will declare one single field uh, variable and then we will share the memory of that variable with other multiple fields with the help of redefine clause okay but before we start the session I would like to recommend you to please go and check out the previously released sessions first because uh, these all sessions are connected with each other even the entire playlist is in proper sequence and sync so if you follow them sequentially then it would be really very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic okay and as I mentioned that uh, we have already discussed many things related to define redefine clause but still I'll give you one recap so uh, to explain the redefine clause you can simply take one example suppose we have one paper okay and someone asked us to write uh, the text on that paper but in two different languages one in Hindi and one in English now what we will do we have two options either we can pick two paper and write uh, one paper I will use for writing the English text and one is for Hindi text but here we are not utilizing the space properly right because we are wasting two paper so instead of that what we can do we can simply use one single paper and on the front side of the paper we will write in English and then we'll flip the paper paper and write uh, the text in Hindi by doing that uh, this what we are doing we are utilizing the space in a proper manner so same thing when you relate with the technical concept redefine clause then you will find out the definition that redefine clause allows us uh, to uh, utilize same chunk of data or to represent same chunk of data in two different ways okay so that thing we can achieve with the help of redefined clause so this is the simplest example I think uh, for redefined clause that we can explain that even if someone asks you in an interview you can simply explain this example that we can utilize the paper in two different ways and same thing we can relate with the uh, actual definition of the redefined clause okay so I think now it's um, we have at least understanding of like what is redefined clause right so fine now it's time to uh, see the prog uh, program which I have already created with the name tscbpgm83 so I'll take option 2 over here and now you can see we have identification division block as we always put in up programs right so here you can see the identification division block is, uh, block is showing two different information here which is program ID denoting program name and author denoting author name so program ID is uh, just indicating the program name so you can see here tscbpgm83 is the program which we are using so it, 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 it is indicating the same then we have author which is denoting the author name okay so let's say if there is any other information in your program which you want to show as a identity information then that thing we will keep under this identification division block after that what we are doing we are utilizing three lines as a comment line line number five to line number seven so how to declare comment so to mention the comment you can simply put asterisk on seventh position so you can count it from the very first position so one two three four five six and seven now on seventh position when you place asterisk it will be considered as a comment line so after that whatever you will write here will be considered as your comment line clear fine now here we are using three comment line just to show you the topic name in a box like structure so I just created this box like structure with the help of comment line and then I mentioned the topic which is redefining an alphanumeric field as multiple smaller fields okay and then on line number nine we are using stop run to terminate the program flow but before that there should be some logic which we are going to write from scratch so let's see how we can write the logic so for that I'll firstly insert one line here and here I will mention the data division data division okay fine now let's add few more lines here so I'll add I 20 it will add 20 blank line 
fine now what we are going to do here we are going to define the working storage section okay so to define the working storage section what we will do we will simply write here working hyphen storage section okay so what it will do it will define the working storage section and under this working storage section we will divide uh, we will define our first variable with the name ws name okay so firstly we are supposed to specify the level number so i am specifying it as 01 because i want to use the higher data hierarchy okay then we will mention the variable name so let's say variable name is ws name okay so this is how we can uh, put the data name or variable name right but if you don't want to use hyphen it's completely fine you can give the normal name okay but uh, just to show you in a different way i am using it then we will mention PIC denoting picture clause and after that PIC we will specify the length and data type so for this length uh, data type would be X which is denoting alphanumeric and length would be 10 clear and let's assign some value to this so maybe we can assign some random letters a b c a b c d x y z and p q r p q r just a random character so if you count it from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 fine so we have uh, uh, initialized the value as 10 characters value clause we all know that it is it is always an optional clause but here for this variable we need to assign some variable so i assigned it okay fine after that what we are going to do this is the simple uh, simplest variable we have uh, defined here with the name ws name which can hold up to 10 alphanumeric character now below to this what we are going to do we are going to uh, specify another variable which is 01 ws underscore name parts okay name parts so just give it a name as like this and now we will use the redefine clause so redefines ws underscore hyphen name Okay, so we have declared this ws name parts redefine ws name. So what it means? It means that we are redefining the uh, we are redefining this variable with this. So it means they will share the storage space. Okay. Now what we will do? We will make a subfields because we wanted to divide it into subfields, right? So for that I will use level number as 05, which is indicating that this is a part of the ws name parts then then we will specify the variable name so let's say ws hyphen first name hyphen name then we will specify pic x of 5 okay likewise we will define another variable with the same level number 5 ws last name PIC x of 5 okay so we have declared both the variables so that means now this set of variables this group variable will take the uh, reference or you can say will share the uh, resource with first uh, with the variable w name which is defined on line number 11 okay and that's why we are utilizing the redefined clause here okay so this is one of the most important uh, topic re related to uh, redefine because there are uh, many scenarios in project where we are supposed to use the redefined clause in this way okay fine now how we will verify this so to verify this we will simply write procedure division and we'll print the values so procedure division and here i'll specify uh, the display command so display ws name it will print the actual value then again display ws name ws first name first hyphen name then again we will display ws last name okay so this is how we will print the values and at last we are using we are using stop run to terminate the program flow so let's remove the unnecessary lines to make the code clean and it's time to verify the output so let's compile it so i just compiled with 14 and now i'm calling it so once i call this program you will see that we are 
after compiling and calling we can see the output is printing the complete name this is just a normal character but if you want to store your actual name you can uh, put it on accordingly okay but this is just for the demo purpose that's why I'm writing in this way now you can press enter so this is the first name and after enter this is the second name okay so this is how we can utilize the redefine clause in order to redefine alphanumeric field as a multiple smaller fields clear so i hope the session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech Sharmat.